Welcome to another episode of Planet Zoo. It's been a while since I uploaded the last Planet Zoo video and it's just been a while in general since I've been on YouTube but because I've just made a comeback um, I think we're going to make a smaller exhibit just because I need to familiarize myself with the controls again and I think the Chinese pangolin exhibit is the perfect animal for this smaller uh, exhibit and I think I chose this one as well because it fits really perfectly it fell in the area on the left side of the gate that's been empty all this time and because pangolins are just small animals they don't really need that big of an area okay let's get into it for this exhibit, I really wanted to have the same concept as the tiger one. That's why I was fiddling with where I want to put the little smaller cave. Later on, I will put a wooden wall type of thing so that they have a space to hide because pangolin do need a place to hide. And the next thing that I wanted to work on was a smaller fountain in the middle of the exhibit. But I don't know why, maybe because I don't really like how it looked. The water is a bit too shallow or it's going to be a bit too deep so I scrapped the idea and I just finally make a regular looking pond on the left side of the exhibit. When I was taking some b-rolls and cinematics of the pangolin to put in the video, I was editing a bit of the pond to make it a bit more detailed, add some aquatic plants and stuff and I forgot to hit the save button. And I haven't opened my Planet Zoo game after that, so I don't know if it's going to be saved, if there's an autosave, but if there are not an autosave, I, I don't think I'm going to fix the pond anytime soon. But probably, maybe I will if I have the time, but <laughs> I, I was, I don't know why, I just clicked quit the game and I didn't even bother to save it. As you can see, it took me a while just to make this cave area where the pangolin will sleep because it's been it's been a while, it's been several months since the last time I opened Planet Zoo. And from the previous video, you already know that it already took me quite a while for me to fiddle with the terrain because structure and terrain shape is not my strong point. I only like to do detailing to add plants and stuff like that. And now it took me even longer just to make a couple holes for the cave and for the pond. But I mean, I don't really hate what it looks like. It's just that I wanted to have something a bit more unique to the um to the exhibit but maybe I will do that on the next one because as I said earlier this is only um, a smaller exhibit that I use to uh, to familiarize myself again with the game with the controls. I wanted to make a slope area for the pangolins to go up and down the terrain so I added a little bit of wooden path along the way to enhance the look of the slope because it just looks so boring and my idea of detailing the slope is to add this wooden path thingy that they can use or that indicates it's um, a road, a path that you have to use if you want to go up and down the exhibit. In the game, they say that the pangolins live in a 12 to 42 degrees Celsius so I wanted to use different types of plants, which is why I'm using tropical and temperate plant types to make it look a bit different. Maybe that's the unique part of this exhibit because I don't really use um, some of the bushes here on another area of the zoo. The plants are supposed, the temperate plants are supposed to be on the colder side of the zoo later on that I haven't built yet, but maybe just because it's a smaller one and the pangolins have 
quite a range of uh, temperature that they can live in. It just becomes an excuse for me to use the different types of plants. The area is pretty shaded as well. The sun is not directly looking into the area, which is perfect for the temperate plants if it's uh, in real life situation. And the white bush that I use, it looks like a little tiny little grass peeping from the ground which is really cute in my opinion. Maybe because this is the first time that I really look into another biome plant types, I don't really pay attention to it or maybe because I'm just blind, I didn't really pay attention to the list of the decoration items and the plants that I can use. I saw a lot of new decorations and new plants that I can use that I didn't see before. And I did talk about having a new DLC, but I haven't got that yet. I know it's been several months, but there's a lot of um, reasons why I haven't got that. One of them is because I haven't really playing Planet Zoo for a couple of months. But I will. I will get it soon. Very soon. I just don't know when. Back to the exhibit. The area is a pretty small area. But I thought the pangolin is going to be a bit bigger with how little the pangolins are. It makes the area look pretty big even though they are not, even though the area is not big. The amount of pangolins that I can put in the exhibit are not a lot as well. I think I can only put three adult pangolins, which probably makes sense because I've never seen pangolins travel in group in the wild before. I just hope that I can put a lot more because if I'm in this zoo in real life, I don't think I can even see the pangolins because they are really small. Like, they're adult pangolins, but I just can't see them because of how small they are. But I understand that they are probably a solitary animals. Between the pond and the sleeping cave, we have a pretty barren area that I decided to fill with some logs and the ant mounds so it can be the center of attraction for the exhibit. I think center of center of attraction is a pretty important thing to do if you want to make a, a zoo because it's where the people will gather and where the animal will hang out most of the time. I put two different types of ant mounds as well, but I think I can only use one. The other one I just put just because of the aesthetic, it just looks cool on the area. I'll probably add more later on around the exhibit. For now, I want to make the I want to put the ant mounds on the center of the exhibit just because it's going to be the center of center of attraction. Why I put the middle part of the area as the center of attraction is because the people can look on the bottom level and they can look on the higher level as well, which is why I put some enrichment on the higher level. I decided to put some thermostats in the area just to make it a bit cooler and so far the Chinese pangolin exhibit is the coolest place in the zoo. I will put more thermostat later on around where the food area will be, where the food court area will be, but for now, I really want the front part of the zoo to be a bit on the hotter side, and then as I build, as I make more of the zoo area, it's going to gradually getting cooler and cooler if you walk all the way to the back of the zoo. And again, that is the main concept of the Little Asia Zoo, is to put most of the east animals, the eastern animal in the front part of the zoo, and then put most of the northern Asian animals at the back part of the zoo. And I have this idea of making the zoo going higher and higher, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep it on what it looks like right now, with the, ter the, the pre-generated terrain as well, because I think it gives me a bit of a challenge to build based on what the pre-generated terrain looks like. That's it for me on this episode. 
and I hope you enjoyed the rest of it. And don't forget that we always have a B-roll and cinematic shots at the end of each of Planet Zoo videos, so stay tuned for that. If you like hearing me talk and want to hear more of it, don't forget to click the like button and click the subscribe button. And I hope I can see you all in the next one. Goodbye!